Alrighty, I'm going to make a, um, a star apple wine uh, now. And for you guys who don't know what a star apple is, a star apple is uh, a tropical fruit. And I've cut one in half, so you can sort of see what it looks like there. And you can see the star, that's why it's called a star apple. It tastes a little bit like a custard apple. Okay, really nice. Now what I, what I did was um, I pulped these. I got carried away last night and didn't film it, so I'm just going to tell you what I did this morning. I pulped them, so I scooped all the pulp out and stuck that in the stocking and whacked that into the fermenter. Everything was sterilised, of course. Make sure you sterilise everything. Now, I think with these you could leave the skin on, but I've never made it before, so I'm going to try it without the skin and see how we go. And uh, I've got one of these trees growing at the back, so if it works really well or it doesn't really work really well, I'll try it with the skin on next time. So I whacked it in the fermenter, and I whacked in some... Uh, uh, some hot water to try and break down the cells of the fruit and that releases the flavour. So I poured hot water all over it, probably about, I don't know, five litres of hot water. And uh, then I added a crushed camden tablet to try and kill any wild yeast. Excuse me. Now, I'm making about 25 litres of wine this time. And my rough rule of thumb is you use half the volume in fruit. This is in kilos, okay? So we're using 25 litres of wine we need about 10 to 12 kilos of fruit. So I've got 12 kilos of fruit, pulped them all, whacked at the stocking, chucked the stocking in, hot water, Camden tablet, and I've let that sit for a little while. Then I've added some, uh, a little teaspoon of tannin and a teaspoon of peptic enzyme, because I think this stuff will not clear very well, so the peptic enzyme should help it clear. And I've also added uh, two teaspoons of uh, citric acid, now, citric acid will give it a sharper, uh, sharper flavour, increase the acidity of it. And the acidity in the wine is what gives it flavour. Too acidic and it's really sharp, but not enough acid and it's bland. And these fruit will be uh, very non-acidic. They won't have any acid at all in them. So I've added two teaspoons of citric acid. We'll have a taste of that later and see how it's going. Uh, then I'll let it rest for a bit and then I poured the, um, just scattered the yeast on top. Oh, sorry, I added sugar as well. These things, funnily enough, while they're very sweet, have got no sugar. Uh, so what I did was I filled it up to about what I wanted, about uh, 25 litres, a bit less, probably 20 litres. And then I measured the specific gravity to see how much sugar was in there. And you use that with a hydrometer. One of those dudes. You can get them at any home brew shop. And all you do is, I'll measure the, I'll measure the specific gravity now anyway, and we'll see how it's fermenting. But yeah, so I measured the specific, specific gravity and I uh, found out that there's very, very little uh, sugar in that fruit. So I had to add a lot of sugar. I think I added about eight kilos of sugar to try and get the specific gravity up to a point where it'll, uh, where it'll produce a good wine. Uh, you need a wine alcoholic content of about 14% to make sure it preserves, particularly with the fruit wine. Grape wine's a bit less, but fruit wines, you'll need it up around there. So uh, there we go. Alright, so measuring the specific gravity, I don't know how well this will video up, but anyway. I got the hydrometer and filled up my thing full of uh, must out of the fermenter. You just let it sit in there. Make sure it doesn't touch the sides and make sure there's no bubbles on it. And then you read the hydrometer reading, which comes down to there at about uh, 1.085, which is okay because it started last night and it was, uh, it was at about 1.1, uh, which should give me about... 14.5% alcohol. So it's 1.11, sorry. It's fermenting down nicely. Another week at that, and we'll just keep measuring it every every day or every couple of days. And when it gets down to uh, down to below, then about one, somewhere up there, then we'll rack it into a uh, into a secondary and let it sit and ferment for a bit longer for the secondary fermentation. But we want most of the alcohol content through the wine to start with. So I'll tip this back in, and um, yeah, we'll measure again in a couple of days, and then we'll rack it.